Okay. If you had one word to describe yourself, what word would that be? Awesome. Realistic. Passionate. Mine would have to be thinker. Um, I'm from Wichita Falls, Texas. Many of y'all don't know where that is. That's it's two hours northwest of Dallas. Um, it's a small town, around 100,000 people. Um, I wasn't always as privileged as I am now. I am a first generation student to go to college for four years of tuition. But let me give you a little background on where I came from. Um, when I was born, we lived in an apartment with my grandparents and two other families. So we were all compact in a small apartment. Then we upgraded and moved to the projects, which wasn't that much better, but it was our own spot. And then when I, around when I turned five years old, we moved out into like the, the better neighborhood, but it wasn't that much better. Um, so the education I got, I had to go to school across town, 10 minutes across town every day to get a better education. Um, my, my mom, she's a very passionate person. She's, that's where I get my passion from, my love, my desire. My dad, who was never really around, they split up when I was three years old. Um, he's more of the, the, the brainiac type, the genius, you know. That, that's where I get the brains from. And my stepdad, who was with me since I was three years old, um, he was more of the hardcore, like, ex-gang member. He's been shy, you know. So I'm kind of a mixture of those three. Um, but back to the story about being a thinker. I came from that from being underprivileged to being in college now to going to grad school, and it's all because I thought my way through the whole process. I always envisioned myself doing greater things, and now I am where I am today. Um, as I was growing up, I was always a math nerd. I loved math, I loved science, I loved to play basketball. Basketball was my first love. Uh, I didn't start loving football until I got to high school. When I got to high school, uh, when I was a freshman, I got class favorite, sophomore class favorite, and then at the end of my sophomore years when I got my own apartment. So I lived the college lifestyle pretty much as a sophomore in high school, junior in high school, and senior in high school, which was completely crazy to me, you know, because I had the good side and the bad side, I lived it all. Um, my senior year, when I was getting recruited to play football for here at Angelo State, um, I got hurt. I was gonna go, I had offers from TCU, Oklahoma State, you know, big colleges like that, but I hurt my knee, which, entitled me to, you know, they took their scholarships away, so I wasn't entitled to do anything with them. Um, so I chose Angelo State. Oh, also, I won, it's called Mr. Raider, but it's like prom king. So I was like the guy in our school. Um, so that whole injury kind of humbled me to, like, to the ground, okay? Um, so I chose Angelo State to come here. I started playing football and all that stuff, and things weren't going the way I wanted them to. I wasn't starting, I wasn't, I wasn't getting much playing time, you know, I thought I was better than this guy, that guy, but all in all, I think God was working in me to tell me to keep faith, because I have better plans in store for you. Um, so I got involved in a lot of uh, organizations and stuff to try to fill my time with other things and take my mind off of football. Um, I became the president of our student athlete advisory committee. Um, I was the president for two or three years, and those years I accumulated maybe a, over a hundred no, over a thousand hours of community service. Just going out in the community, you know, volunteering to keep my mind off of football. Um, this past year, we, um, we did amazing things on the field. That's what I'm trying to say. We did amazing things and I took time away from volunteer service to put more time into football and that's when I started excelling more at football. I stopped, I put my attitude to the side and I, stuck, I start diving into really what I wanted to do and I start thinking what I really wanted to do. And once those thoughts became actions, and I brought those thoughts to life, nothing really ever stopped me after that point. Because I thought I could believe, I thought that I could do anything I wanted to do, and I really did anything I wanted to. Um, I never envisioned coming to grad school. I never envisioned even graduating from college when I was in high school. I just wanted to go to college because I heard it was fun. But I got here, and I thought my way through the whole thing, and I, I worked hard. I dove, I dove into the books, I dove into everything. I worked really, really hard. So now I'm in grad school and I'm looking to hire my, I'm looking to further my education. I don't, I don't know what I want to do in life. I know where I came from and I know where I want to go. And I know where I am right now. 
I don't know what I want to do in life, but I have trust and I have faith that I'm going to make it. So, my word is a thinker. I will think my way through any process because I believe your thoughts become your actions, and whatever you think, you will become.